So the nutrient density isn't there in our kids' diet. Where that becomes problematic is not only does it impact uh, you know, the, the gut and, you know, being able to digest and have good bowel movements, but all those bugs, that whole microorganisms, all those microorganisms, that microbiome is negatively impacted when we're not eating nutrient dense food. And then that has a negative impact on our brain and food is information. So if you're giving your child, you know, let's say an apple, that apple contains all kinds of nutrients that provide information and the building blocks that your child's body Body needs for proper brain and body function. Contrast that with maybe, you know, an artificially flavored sugar added apple juice. Well, they're both technically apple, right? Apple flavor, but that juice doesn't contain nearly the amounts or the types of information or the building blocks that your child needs. So I think just the awareness around that, that food provides the critical building blocks for your child's body, for your child's brain, and looking at how can we get more of those building blocks coming in through the food a child is eating, it's so, so critical.